the first half really worried me. Uh, as I've said before, look, and I get it, and people are going to say I'm miserable and probably get slagged off by United fans, but that, that's just the way I thought. I, I looked at that game thinking about Liverpool on Sunday. Maybe it's the wrong thing to do, thinking about Manchester City. Because I thought in that, in that first half, United were all over the place. They were disjointed. They had the two midfield players playing on their own. Now, if you do that against Manchester City or Liverpool... Half time, it'll be three or four nil. You'll be out of the game. You're not coming back. And yet, it's great watching, seeing the excitement and seeing the United way, all the smiles on their face, all the attacking, all the goals, all the shooting, all the crosses. It's brilliant. I know that. But that first half just stuck with me. When you say winning that manner, they've come back they come yeah, from back, two. Yeah. Like, great, great spirit. Yeah, great fighting spirit. They conceded still so many chances. Now, if you're playing against quality players, there's no way you're winning that game. Not a chance you're winning that game. And now everyone will get a little bit carried away with this euphoria. Now, will he play that way on Sunday against Liverpool? It, it was that brilliant. It was that good. Everyone's smiling, everyone's happy. Go and do that on Sunday against Liverpool. See what happens. Well, Imagine we'll... Jürgen Klopp at home watching that game in the first half, rubbing his hands together. You've got to enjoy that, Scalzi, man. You come from 2-0 uh, down at Old Real. Trafford. Real, 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 real. Please enjoy it, please. I, I've told you, I can imagine it being enjoyable for the fan, for you, obviously. Um, and it was brilliant, don't get me wrong, coming back from 2-0 down was exactly what we wanted. Remember, we've watched Van Gaal teams, we've watched Mourinho team. Yeah. Boring, boring. Drive you fast asleep, send you to sleep. So this it worried was... me for a moment there. So, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> yeah, you do as well. So, to go to that is great, but you look at that first... Remember who you're playing against? You're playing against Atalanta. But they beat them. Yeah, they beat them in the end. They, they were They beat positives. them at the end. You, you can only beat what's in front of you as well. That, that Atalanta team... You go, don't forget, they've been... There's top a way of beating teams on real. For three years. There yes, has to be a way of beating teams. Does the fact they've won in that manner make any difference for the weekend? No, tonight doesn't make any difference. But that, that first half made a difference. But will it, it'll be interesting to see now what it does on Sunday. Will, will he think, will he get carried away with the emotion of that big performance against a lower ranked team and say, right, we'll go for it, we'll do exactly the same? It'll be interesting to see what happens. What about this question from Mike then? Does Pep or Klopp win the league with this Manchester United? <laughs> it's a big question. <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't come. <laughs> um, look, two great managers, of course, yeah. Can they win? I, I don't know. We, we just don't know. We'll never know, will we? But what do you think, though? Do what you do think? I think? I, I don't know, Jake. I don't know. I, I couldn't answer it. Look, Oli might win the league this team. Do you think he will? Probably not, no. I, I do think Oli... I think he's brave enough to leave players out. I think he did it with Ronaldo the other week, didn't he, in a game... Probably a mistake, but he did it. He's left Pogba out, big player. Um, so I don't think he's he's too afraid of it. But like he said, I, I, I think probably Citizens and Liverpool's players respect the manager a little bit more than United players do. Really? Well, when you look at the performance on Saturday against Leicester, then you'd have to say so, yeah. You think that's what it comes down to, res respect for the manager? No, I don't, I, I don't think it totally does. Um, I think it's down to the managers to get effort and work rate out of players. Yeah. I say it's down to them. That should come as a given. But sometimes, you know, you can't do it Wednesday, Sunday, Tuesday, Saturday, whatever it is. You need a bit of motivation. Mm. And you need to look at your man and think, yeah, I'm going to do it for you today. Mm. And I don't think it's always the case. This question from Richie is, can Oli survive this season playing like this? I know you'll say, yes, of course he can, so I'll change it slightly. <laughs> do you think Oli will survive yes. this season playing like this? I think he will, yeah. Um, what you do you know, base that res on? Results will dictate. Yeah. I, I base it on... I don't think United want to change manager. Um, but, as always with managers, results will dictate. He's had a, a little bad run now. What did I think they won four, lost four out of seven games or something. But he always seems to find a way to get a reaction out of them. Now, a reaction against Atalanta, I, I don't really count because it's a game they should win anyway. I think the reaction has to come now on Sunday against the proper team. When we had the Europa League final, right, and Manchester United lost on penalties and we stood there going, oh, is Ole Gunnar Solskjaer the answer for them because they haven't won? If they'd have just scored a spot kick, we would have 
been stunning. They're going great. They've won a European trophy. This is the start of something new. We have to be really careful about analysing games of football based purely on the result. You can't just say mm. it was great because United won 3-2, right? No, I, I don't think we would have been, Jake, because the Europa League final is not something Manchester United should even be thinking about. Remember, they were in that competition because they failed in the Champions League. Mm. So that, that doesn't make any difference.